Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti, and this is going to be the final video in a three-part series that we did on this property. Now, I lost some of the footage, so this video is going to be a little choppy, so bear with me as I try to narrate and explain what we are doing. Now we're going to be putting the NDS channel drains across this driveway with the metal grates. They have them both with plastic and metal. We use the plastic on the back porch because that's, you know, just foot traffic. Anywhere where there's vehicle traffic, you're going to want to use the ones with metal grates. That way you don't get stress fractures in the plastic when vehicles drive over it over time. Now we're going to be connecting in the channel drains across this driveway and a gutter downspout drain and there's an existing SDR 35 PVC main line that was installed here with an old channel drain that was just kind of on the side of the driveway but it wasn't doing anything so we went ahead and we removed that. We cleaned out that line, made sure it was clear and we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap our new lines and our new drains in this system into that main line. So now when you're working with any kind of PVC, especially when you start getting into the bigger uh, drainage sizes, the pipe is very rigid. So there's not a lot of play with it. You can't bend it, you can't really move it, especially when it's in the ground like this. So when you get into a tight situation where you have to splice two lines together, but you can't move either pipe, the best thing to do is to use a slip cup link and it slides over one end, you put your pipe on either side and then you slide that slip cup link with the glue over the gap that way it makes a solid connection and I feel it's better to do that than to use like a no hub a rubber cup link fern co whatever you want to call it uh, I, I just feel like the connections better because then at least it's solid PVC but now remember there are some situations where you have to use a no hub cup link you just can't get around it and it's and it's better to use a no hub cup link like for example if you're going from pvc to corrugated i would always suggest using a rubber cup link because the cup links the adapters that they make that go from corrugated to pvc a lot of times those connect on the inside of the corrugated and on the inside of the pvc fitting and all that is doing is reducing the inner diameter of both those pipes and it's creating a slight choke point. Now I know there's other types of couplings you can get that connect corrugated to PVC that go on the outside, but typically the most common ones you're going to find, especially if you're a DIYer, is going to be the ones that connect on the inside. So a lot easier just to use a rubber boot in a situation like that. Now at the end of this existing main line, they had just a pop up with a 90 degree angle and it was totally clogged full of dirt and debris. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dig that up. We're gonna cut off that 90 degree angle and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one of our percolation tees in there. That way when this groundwater does lower, that drainage system can drain out fully. Now this particular house is very close to the beach and as you know, if you live in Florida, when the tide comes up, the groundwater level comes up as well. When the tide goes down, the groundwater level goes down. So this yard is very saturated. All the yards in this area are very saturated. And, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do with that, unfortunately. And there's not a lot of places you can take this water just because the city infrastructure in this area fills with water quickly as well when the tide comes up. So, well, basically what we are trying to just accomplish is to get any excess water on rains just to divert that away from the home and get it into the street the best we can. All right, so now the reason we went ahead and we connected our system into the aluminum gutter elbows is because we were trying to gain as much fall as we could because this is a very flat yard and we really didn't want to use a percolation tee on these four gutter downspouts that were all going to be into one system and the reason for that is because of the groundwater because there's a lot of groundwater here because it's close to the beach so we wanted to daylight the pipe with a straight end for this for this whole run on this one side of the home so now I understand it looks a little tacky having the pipe connect in like that, but to fix this, it's really not that difficult. All you have to do is just add a few extra bags of mulch and re-landscape and make the landscape beds a little bit higher. And that mulch, if you get no float cypress mulch, that's what we use down here a lot, 
that way it can't float away and also bugs and termites do not like cypress mulch so all you have to do is just get a couple bags extra of that build up those landscaping beds a little bit and that mulch is going to cover over that pipe and it's going to hide that and make the aesthetics look better all right well we hope you enjoyed this video and i apologize again for not having all of the video i should have backed it up before trying to switch from one computer to another so that's definitely a mistake that i won't be making again and until that next video this is aero general services signing off Thank you.